ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाय रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कंट फोर चैप्टर सिक्स इन टाइटल ब्राह्मा सेटिस्फाइस लोड शिव टेक्स्ट फोर्टी फाइव The translation by His Divine Grace Śrīla Prabhupāda. O oh, most auspicious Lord, you have ordained the heavenly planets, the, the spiritual Vaikuntha planets, and the impersonal Brahman sphere as the respective destinations of the performance of auspicious activities. Similarly, for others who are miscreants, you have destined different kinds of hells, which are horrible and ghastly. Yet sometimes it is found that their destinations are just the opposite. It is very difficult to ascertain the cause of this. Prevod. O vse boji gospodari, za tezi, koji te vršet bolj učestivi dela, ti si predpredil rajski te poneti, duhovni te poneti vajkunti in bezlišnostni in praman, a grešnici te ki očakvat užasni te adski volenja. Но понякога се случва праведниците да отидат в ада, а грешниците да се озиват в рая. Да се установи истинската причина за това е изключително трудно. Purport. The supreme personality of Godhead is called the supreme will. It is by the supreme will that everything is happening. It is said therefore that not a blade of grass moves without the supreme will. Generally, it is prescribed that uh, performers of pious activities are promoted to the higher planetary systems. Devotees are promoted to the Vaikuntas, or spiritual worlds, and impersonal speculators are promoted to the impersonal Brahman infulgence. But it is sometimes so happens that a miscreant like Ajamila is immediately promoted to the Vaikuntha Loka simply by chanting the name of Narayana. Although, when Ajamila uttered this vibration, uh, he intended to call his son Narayana, Lord Narayana took it seriously and he in, uh, intended to call, uh, uh, he immediately gave him promotion to, uh, to Vaikuntha Loka, despite his background, which was full of sinful activities. Similarly, King Daksha was always engaged in pious activities of performing sacrifices, Yet simply because of creating a little misunderstanding with Lord Shiva, he was severely taken to task. The conclusion is, therefore, that the supreme will is the ultimate judgment. No one can argue upon this. A pure devotee, therefore, submits in all circumstances to the supreme will of the Lord, accepting it as all auspicious. Tatinu kampam su samikshama no bunjana ivatma kritam vipakam kritvak papurbir vidadan namasti jivita yo mukti padi sadaya bak Bhagavatam 10.14.8 The purport of this verse is that when a devotee is, a calam- is in a calamitous condition, he takes it as a benediction of the Supreme Lord and takes responsibility himself for his past misdeeds. In such a condition, he offers still more devotional service and is not disturbed. One who lives in a such a disposition of mind, engaged in devotional service, is the most eligible candidate for promotion to the spiritual world. In other words, such a devotee's claim for a promotion to the spiritual world is assured in all circumstances. Mm. Някои хората наричат върховната божествена личност върховната воля. Всичко, което се случва, се случва по върховната воля. Затова се казва, че без върховната воля не може да отрепне дори стръпче трева. Както, а, като правило, тези, които извършват благочестиви дейности, попадат на висшите 
планети в Вселената. Предълно отданите постигат планетите в Вайкунта, т.е. духовния свят. А умозрителните философ... философи и персоналисти отъват в безличностното сияние на Браман. Но понякога се случва грешниците да попаднат на Вайкунта заради това, че са произнесли името на Нараяна. Така стана Осаджа Мила. Въпреки, че когато произнасил името на Раяна, той викал сина си на Раяна. Бог на Раяна приел това сериозно и взела, че Мила на Вайкунта Лока, въпреки греховното му е минало. И обратното. Цар Дакша бил много благочестив и постоянно извършвал жертви приношения, но заради древната си връжда с Шива бил сурово наказан. Следователно, върховната воля на Бога е окончателната присъда, която никой не може да отмени. Затова чистият трен отдаен във всички обстоятелства се причинява на върховната воля на Бога и не се съмнява, че каквото и да направи Бога, то е за него добро. Татейно кампан, шушени кишамана, бенжаме ратна кампан, дипакам, три бага, отрубил и да дадасте, живете и омукти паде и сега е бак. Шима бага там, 10-14. 8. Смисълът на тази строфа е, че когато изпадне бега, в беда, предано отдаденият приема това като милост от страна на Върховния Бог и е уверен, че причината за страданията му са неговите собствени грехове, извършени в миналото. Сред сполетелите го нещастия той остава спокоен и с още по-голям ентусиазъм се посвещава на преданото служение. Човек, който живее в такова настроение и служи с преданост на Върховния Бог, е най-достойният за духовния свят. С други думи, той със сигурност ще се върне в духовния свят, независимо от обстоятелства. Хари Кришна. Хари Кришна. Така, виждаме, че Лорд ордена спиритуал Вайкунта планети за сам и. Uh, impersonal Brahman sphere for the <coughs> others and also um, hell for the third kind of people. Виждаме тук, че Върховният Бог е предназначил тези различни места на значение в Вайкунта, планетите и безличностния Браман и яда за различни видове хора. And uh, we can see that uh, here Lord Brahma is astonished that sometimes Uh, their destination are just the opposite uh, and it's very difficult to ascertain the cause of this. И тук Брама възклицава как е удивен от това нещо, как някои личности попадат на място, където той не може да си обясни как. So, it may seem that uh, Lord is sometimes whimsical. По някой път може да изглежда, че Бога действа по каприз. Uh, What do you think? <laughs> Какво мислите? This is a question for you. <laughs> He's completely independent. He's independent. Paramasa Tantra. Yes. Any other thought? Uh, maybe he has a deeper reason that to us it appears as a whimsical behavior. Може би това, което на нас ни изглежда като действие по каприз, всъщност е причинено от много по-дълбока причина. Yes, this is a fact, in fact. Да, това е правило. Uh, because... Uh, you wanted to say something? Uh, не може да се каже, че всичко е, кое съществува е за каприз. <laughs> Isn't it proper to say that everything that exists already is the, the whimsical desire of God? <laughs> yes, we could say also like this. No, <laughs> he's the only one that can be whimsical. He's the only one that can be. <laughs> yes, but um, nevertheless, he he sets some rules, and he follows them himself also. Да, това е така. И въпреки това, той сами установил определени правила и той също ги следва. Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra, Mai ki jai, Shushi Gaur, Nitai ki jai, Shushi Ajburcha ki jai, Nitai Gaur, Pramanandi, Hiru Gaur. Because we see in uh, ninth chapter of 
Bhagavad Gita, Lord says, Samoham Sarabhuti Shu Namad Vishwat Nisti Napriya, Eva Janti Tamam Bhakti Yama Iti Teshu Chapra. That uh, I'm equal to all, um, so I'm not whimsical to people. Of the Veta Govana Bhagavad Gita, Krishna Kazva, Asamedak was Bojan Kamsichki, Zdrugi Dumiasmi Deistam Opris. But he already there in this verse, he, he said some difference. Uh, so, uh, to those who worship me with love, uh, I take them as my friends, and they are in my heart, and I also in their heart. So, um, we should, of course, see, and, and Prabhupada here uh, in his commentary um, states dif two different um, cases. One is uh, Ajamila, who is promoted to the spiritual world um, immediately, although he was miscreant. And uh, the other is Daksha, who was extremely pious and uh, met quite different destination. <laughs> so, uh, why this difference? What do you think? <laughs> uh, was one offensive to the devotee and one wasn't? Yes. You wanted to say something? Or the same, the same. The same. Yes, exactly. Uh, he was um, offensive towards Lord Shiva. Uh, here he said that uh, Prabhupada uh, funny comment he says uh, because of creating a little misunderstanding with Lord Shiva <laughs> 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 so uh, yes he was extremely in fact uh, um, offensive and, and envious of Shiva uh, as we remember from previous chapters, uh, when when Daksha entered the assembly, he, he, as he was extremely glorious and and effulgent uh, and and beautiful, everyone just stood up. Also, great sages and demigods. Daksha toy deistu po novo zavislif i uskrbiti na način kam Bog Shiva. Ako si spomnete kwa to toy vlezno v tova sabranje na and um, everybody uh, offered him obeisances. And um, so he was one of the most important personalities in the universe. But since Lord Shiva was immersed in, in the remembrance of Lord Krishna, uh, no. He didn't uh, get up to to greet uh, Daksha. No, ponedje Bog Shiva to bil na polnu potupen v misli za Bog Krishna, to je nesen na digno za da odave počet na Daksha. And Daksha uh, was extremely disturbed by this. I Daksha no se pritesni od tvoje. Because if one is um, is glorified as as really important personality, uh, then one becomes very um, sensitive that everyone offers him proper respect. And this is the same when we come in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> if uh, we get gain respect from others, then we tend to demand it. Uh, so in other circumstances. <laughs> but 
and this is a very dangerous position. Yes, because we can see what was the consequence to <laughs> Daksha. Uh, he didn't just commit offense to Lord Shiva, but later he also uh, committed offense to his own daughter uh, Shiva's wife. And uh, because she uh, went to, to the function of, his, uh, of her father um, in, in her own house, in fact, uh, she wanted to visit her mother and, and sisters and, and be happy in this uh, occasion. But she was completely neglected by her father. And so she was so disturbed that she uh, set her body on fire. Uh, she said that she don't want uh, to, uh, she doesn't want to um, keep this sinful body she received from, from him. <laughs> and so she, she set her on fire and she died. Uh, and uh, there were, of course, uh, she was uh, companions there, uh, she was soldiers and they fought against uh, Daksha and uh, his army. And uh, but then the Rebus came, uh, this uh, warrior, demigod warriors, and defeated all uh, Shiva's uh, soldiers. But when Lord Shiva uh, mm, uh, he, he was informed about this, he became extremely angry. She was laughing terribly and he pulled out uh, uh, some of bunch of his hair and threw it at the ground. And then uh, the, the uh, terrible fiery demon Virabhadra came out of this uh, hair. And he was sent by Lord Shiva to kill Daksha. <laughs> and, and he was followed by, by ghostly beings. And when they were approaching to this uh, sacrificial scene, uh, the great dust storm arose and, and everyone became s extremely afraid. They didn't know what is the cause of this dust storm. And then uh, Virabhadra came there and just with the knife to uh, for for a sacrificial animal, he cut off the head of Daksha. And uh, to to the personality, I forgot the name. Uh, that he moved his eyebrows when uh, Daksha uh, was uh, blaspheming Shiva, he plucked his eyes out. <laughs> and uh, 
and to um, and to Pusha, one demigod, who was uh, laughing at this uh, uh, case and and showing his teeth, he he broke his teeth out. And uh, Pusha looked. <laughs> And Pusha is uh, also um, one of the personalities that receive uh, portions of, of sacrifice, and even now uh, he receives some something like porridge that uh, it, it <laughs> didn't. It, yes, because he's without teeth. <laughs> And in front of these warriors, these ribus were completely without power. So we can see uh, the consequence of offense. Uh, first, uh, Daksha was even more um, wealthy than before. Може да видим какви са последиците от от едно оскърбление. В началото Даксха той бил много богат. But later on he suffered terribly. Но по-късно той трябва да страда толкова. And this offense, although he he regretted later on, uh, because he received a goat's head. <laughs> yes, uh, you can imagine how how disgraceful this was for for such a glorious personality as Daksha. Now uh, walking around with goat's head. It is said in Bhagavad Gita in second chapter that uh, for a respected person uh, the, the infamy is worse than death. And so um, you can imagine that uh, children were jumping around Daksha and, and uh, saying Daksha is a goat head. Hare Krishna. Uh, but on the other hand, we have here uh, the story of Ajamila. He was extremely sinful personality. Uh, but mm, somehow or other, he gave his uh, son the name Narayana. And and uh, at the end of his life he he was calling upon his son and because of this he was promoted to vaikunta loka in fact he was not immediately promoted to vaikunta loka he first went to badrikashram he was uh, freed from death and went to badrikashram and then went to vaikunta and this was because uh, he chanted uh, holy name with love. Not just chanting the holy name, but with with great affection, in fact. So he received the opportunity to develop special relationship with the Lord. Um, so mm, Acharyas explained in this case is very interesting, of course, that 
uh, one name of the Lord who saves him from, from most terrible hell. Acharite objasnjava či ime tog Boga je toliko ugrštujuće. Dori je no nego poštarene to se buždava od najužasjavaštije apu. And um, not just saved from hell, but also um, he got opportunity to, to render devotional service to the Lord. To nije bilo prosto usvobodeno tačko za štištvene. To je poučio vazmožnost da oddava služenje na Bogu. And uh, Vishwamana Čakravarti explains um, that um, he was promoted to the spiritual world. Uh, in fact, he was endowed with bhakti uh, because uh, he fell down from um, smarta brahmana position. Because uh, if if he would have faith in in karma kanda, he would be offensive to the, towards the holy name. Zašto to ako to je imao tvrda vjera u procesa na karma kanda, to je htio da bude uskrbitelj na stranu kao svetski and uh, it is explained that he was calling the Lord's name without offense. And so, because he fell down from the uh, position of uh, um, Karma Kandi Brahmana, so he was freed of this offense. <laughs> because he didn't have faith in karma anymore. <laughs> And um, he obviously didn't commit any offense to, to Vaishnava. So uh, he was saved from all offenses and uh, also from material world, in fact. Uh, but Daksha, even though he he repented his offense to Lord Shiva, as we can see later on in, in next chapters, he, uh, in his next life, first he wasn't promoted to the spiritual world, <laughs> but in his next life, he committed a new offense to Narada Muni. Slučajno Daksha je interesno, če, vopreki če to je se razkavzo v skrbljenju tako je to napravo, Yes, because first Narada Muni convinced his 10,000 sons, Dakshas, <laughs> to become Brahmacharis. <laughs> and then Daksha sent another thousand of his sons to, uh, to perform austerities to become g- uh, dutiful grihastas. Um, and this is also one one teaching for us that uh, if you want to have to be successful grihasta, you should first perform austerities. Because if you want first to enjoy, then later you suffer. <laughs> so it's better first to suffer. <laughs> and, later <laughs> and later be be self-controlled and not try to uh, to mess with material nature. And you don't get burnt. <laughs> so, um, we can see that one offense leads to another offense. So, we must be extremely careful not to commit offenses. Um, because we can see that uh, offenses are very easily committed. <laughs> and um, 
Many times, times we don't consider them very seriously. Ти много пъти ние не ги приемаме много на сериозно. Um, especially if we criticize other devotees. <laughs> Особено ако критикуваме други предани. Uh, so, one should be careful. This is why this Shimad Bhagavatam is written. За това човек трябва да е много внимателен. За това е написан целият този Шримад Бхагаватам. That we can understand what is beneficial and what is not for our devotional service. Да можем да разберем кое е благоприятно и кое не е за нашия духовен живот. Uh, because there are, there are six items of surrender and the first one is Anukulya Sasankarpaha. Има шест характеристики на отдаването и първата от тях е Uh, yes, Anukulya Sasankarpaha. That means that we accept er- everything that is uh, beneficial for uh, Krishna consciousness. Ние приемаме всичко, което е благоприятно за развитието на Кришна съзнание. And Pratikulya Sivarjanam. That we reject everything that is not auspicious. И също ние отхвърляме всичко, което е неблагоприятно. And the last item is Karpanya. Is, is, is humility. Great humility. А последната характеристика на отдаването е смирение. Uh, so we can see that um, if we want to accept everything that is suspicious that we, that we, we should be very uh, careful in our relationships especially with the devotees. Ако искаме да видим че всичко е благоприятно в нашия живот, трябва да сме особено внимателни в нашите взаимоотношения с преданите. And of course to, to act very humbly. И естествено да действаме много смирено. As we know, Lord Chaitanya also gave this formula of how to uh, live in this world. Както знаем, Ши Чайтани Махапрабху ни е дал тази формула, как да живеем в този свят. Тринада писанична, Тору Рива Сахишна, Амани на Манади на Киртани Ахсада Хари. That we should be humbler than a blade of grass. Трябва да сме по-смирени от сонката на улицата. Uh, why humbler? How to be humbler than a blade of grass? Как човек да е по-смирен дори от сломката? Do you have any ideas? Или някакви идеи? Yes, please. Ами, когато да постоянно е стъпване в uh, различни хора, обаче да постоянно е. The, the, the grass, people are constantly walking on it, and yes. still she do, does not protect. Yes. So how can we be more, more humble? But still she she said that uh, we walk on the grass and she doesn't protest. So, but we can see that old people protest. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, what is the solution? How to follow the Lord's instruction? Serve the Vaishnavas. <laughs> Serve the Vaishnavas. Yes. Anything else? <laughs> the grass gets back up. Should we get back up? <laughs> <laughs> so we should just be trampled upon. Yes, please. Um, is it to remain in as a position as servant of Krishna? Yes, exactly. Трябва винаги да оставя в позицията на слуга на Кришна. Да, точно така. So we should uh, adopt our natural position, in fact. Трябва просто да вземем нашата естествена позиция. And our natural position is Jivara Svarupaha Krishna Nityadas. Нашата естествена позиция е Yes, that we are always the servant of Krishna. Слуга на Кришна. And grass... Uh, doesn't have this mentality to be Krishna's servant. Тревата тя няма този мотивитет да бъде слуга на Кришна. Yes, she 
uh, she has or it has its own uh, struggle for survival it cannot protest when we walk upon it but uh, she nev uh, it nevertheless uh, fights uh, with other grasses for for its space it's fighting for, for uh, its space with other grasses yes so it doesn't consider itself to be a servant but it considers itself as a lord so if we uh, have this mentality that we are the lord that uh, Mm, it suits us to to enjoy and to have anything in this world. In fact, we are um, not humbler than a blade of grass. <laughs> so um, mm, this is the solution not to 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 propri to have to be proprietor of anything and to always act in a position of servant and we should be servant of all living entities in fact because uh, as lord krishna says that every living entity is his own amsha that means part of parcel of Krishna that means it's part of Krishna it's Krishna himself uh, so but how we should serve I don't know crazy people uh, who drink and, and, and uh, live sinful life. Do you have any idea? <laughs> yes, this is one. Great solution. Yes. Um, anything else? Tell them the nice taste when they drink this Krishna. And Vishnu Jan showed that uh, they uh, had to receive prasad. Vishnu Jan Prabhu Pukazva yes this uh, everything is perfect solution <laughs> but if uh, there are some people who don't take uh, prasad and don't take the holy name they, they are in, in, effect, in fact averse towards the holy name and averse towards prasad how can we serve them we can beat them. <laughs> we can pray for them. Yes, exactly. This is one of the most uh, appropriate services. <laughs> um, and practically speaking, uh, in, in uh, relationship with them uh, directly we should avoid them it's explained this is also service to them so and and the other item of surrender we said that is praticulia sevarjanam that we reject anything that is not beneficial for our devotional service um, and of course mm, offenses are 
one of the most detrimental uh, mm, inauspicious things for devotional service. И естествено оскърбленията са така едно от най-разрушителните неща за напредъка в правилното служение. Uh, in fact, it is explained uh, by Vishwana Chakravarti Tako in Madhurya Kadambini that uh, other uh, obstacles, other anarthas in devotional service can be removed more or less uh, up to the stage of Nishta. Също се обяснява от Vishwana Chakravarti Tako има че всички останали видове за марциалния в сърцето общо взето могат да бъдат премахнати до нивото на нища, устойчиво. But uh, offenses to the holy name remain visible even after prima. Но оскърбленията uh, към святото име, те резултата негативни от тях остават дори до нивото на према. Only when we receive personal darshan of Krishna, then even the traces of offense are removed. Само когато получим личния даршан на Кришна, чак тогава каквито и да е остатъци от оскърбления биват напълно унищожени, премахнати. These offenses are like deep wounds. Тези оскърбления са точно като дълбоки рани. And at the stage of prema, these wounds are completely healed. На нивото на према тези а, рани са а, напълно оздравени. But scar can remain. Even the, if the wound is uh, healed, the scar remains. Но дори раната да е напълно оздравяла и затворена, има белек. Uh, so this scar remains until we get personal darshan of Krishna. И този белек остава, докато ние не получим личния даша на Кришна. So, uh, it is shown by our acharyas how important it is to avoid offenses by all means. И така, показва се от нашите ачари колко е важно да, да избягваме, да изоставим оскърбленията при всички положения. And especially nama aparadas. Особено нама апарадите. And, uh, mm, We know, of course, that uh, Vaishnava Parada is Nama Parada. И естествено ние знаем, че Vaishnava Parada всъщност се счита дори се за Nama Parada. But there are also other offenses that are not so much well known uh, that are Nama Paradas. Но има и други оскърбления, които не са толкова известни, които също влизат в категорията на Nama Parada. For example, one of uh, the offenses of the holy name is to uh, maintain material desires. Например, едно от оскърбленията към святото име е човек да продължава да поддържа, да не иска да изостави материалните си желания. Even though we have heard so much instruction uh, in regard to this. Въпреки, че сме получили толкова много наставления в тази връзка. And... Uh, Everyone keeps material desires. <laughs> Nearly. Um, so, what to do? Mm. Yes, because we, we know that uh, the definition of pure devotional service is Anya Bilashita Shunyam. That we should be completely free from all other desires. Even inclination to have other desires. Защото знаем, че дефиницията за чисто правилно служене е, че ние трябва да сме освободени от материални желания. Even inclination. Дори и склонност към материални желания. So, um, that means, but, but of course, sadhana, bhakti means that we are not completely purified yet. Isn't it true? Естествено, сада на бакти означава, че ние все още не сме напълно пречистени. So what to do? Какво да правим? You have an idea? Ня, някаква идея? Yes, please. Uh, I know the bhakti on top of rights somewhere in uh, science fiction literature. Yeah. <coughs> When the devotee sees uh, material desire in his heart, he should honestly acknowledge 
he should be tested at the same time. And then very quickly he writes, Krishna will appear in his heart and will accept his love. That's what he writes. So that's one way to deal with it. As you spawn in Bhakti Nam Thakur Kazvache, if a choice we each have the material joy, Trava the go Yes, exactly. This is the solution. To be detested by our material desires and we repent them. But we can see that uh, even devotees uh, keep material desires and they, they don't uh, tend to think that there's something wrong with them. And uh, for example, these are very well known, <laughs> in fact. Uh, because we can we can uh, we have this uh, doctor under Sinhadev, for example in in oh, in Mayapur например ние имаме този доктор на Расимхадев в Mayapur have you heard about this <laughs> you never heard about <laughs> doctor under <laughs> Sinhadev doctor under Sinhadev не that everybody is praying to Narasimhadev to to cure him y- yes yes da Yes, uh, people, um, devotees are praying and, and paying uh, different uh, pujas for Lord Narasimha Dev <laughs> to, to get cured. And, and, and books are written about uh, Lord Narasimha Dev's glories, how he um, helps different people. И има дори книги написани за славата на Бог на Расим Хадев, както е помага на различни хора. So, uh, if we don't consider this as material desire, we are illusioned. Ако ние, ако ние не считаме това нещо за материално желание, ако ние не считаме това нещо за материално желание, значи сме в иллюзия. And if we pray for good wife or good husband or, or um, health or, or peace ако се молиме за добра жена или добър съпруг или здраве или просто спокойствие for a good job или за добра работа then we certainly uh, don't detest our material desires but welcome them това означава че ние не се отказваме от нашите материални желания а по-скоро ги прегръщаме приемаме and then our destination will not be uh, prima in fact и тогава нашето место назначение нашата крайна цел няма да е према because we don't practice pure devotional service but we practice uh, karma mishra bhakti защото ние не практикуваме чисто прямо служене а практикуваме karma mishra bhakti so uh, this is really important to know what are the offenses and how to get rid of them. Това е много важно да се знае какви са оскърбленията и как да се освободим от тях. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is there any question? Yes, please. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure I understood correctly. Um, so you mentioned about the Ajahn Bima, that he um, fell down from a position of Smarta Brahma. Yes. In Karma Kanda. Yes, in Karma Kanda. Obviously because he fell down. Yes. So so this is what happened. He he was aware, okay, I have fallen down, so this doesn't work. Therefore he didn't have faith in the in their tenets. One of them is that holy name is just one of the yes, pious so, Yes, because he was uh, of course one of the uh, mm, the duties of Brahmanas is to perform sacrifices. Uh, so, uh, 
ако правилно съм разбрал, беше обяснено, че Аджамио всъщност той е направил духовен напредък, падайки от позицията си на а, смарта Брамана, защото е загубил а, вярата във всички тези церемонии. Една от концепциите на смарта Браманизма е, че свято име е просто една благочестива дейност. And the duty of Brahmanas is to perform sacrifices. А, работата на браманите е да се извър... да, да извършват жертвоприношения. And uh, by performing sacrifices, uh, always there is also Lord's name included. Когато се извършват жертвоприношения, винаги под една или друга форма е включено името на Бога. But he was not liberated at the time Но when тогава... he was chanting Lord's name performing his sacrifices. Но той тогава не бил освободен, въпреки че повтарял името на Бога по времето на неговите жертвоприношения. But when he lost his faith in Karma Kanda, uh, he was free of this offense of, of uh, thinking that Lord's holy name is part of uh, achieving something material. Когато обаче той изгубил вярата си в процеса на Karma Kanda, тогава той се освободил от uh, And this is this was also my point uh, that uh, we should get free from this mentality that uh, bhakti to the Lord is meant also for our uh, different material benefits as, such as health or and so on. И това това беше поинта който аз направих че трябва да се освободим от този менталитет че Бога е предназначен ние да изпълним определени наши материални нужди или желания, като например да си подобрим здравето. Yes. Um, so, uh, because he was free of this offense, therefore his chanting of the holy name was without offense. Otherwise he would have told it, okay, by chanting I will just change something. Uh, there. This offense would still be present. Uh, maybe he, was, uh, he wouldn't uh, think uh, in this connection. But but he nevertheless, um, if we would be proper, uh, smarta brahmana, he, w- he he always kept this this yeah, mentality. mentality. It's part of the yes, mentality. Yes, yes. But he lost this mentality <laughs> because he fo- fell down. Ако той бил все още установен своята смарта брахманическа позиция, тогава той запазва този менталитет и тогава не може да се освободи от това оскърбление. Понеже той е изгубил вярата си в Карма Канда, затова той се освободи от оскърбление. Yes, so his chanting of the holy name was Nama Bas. He, he didn't call the Lord, he called his son. But uh, this Nama Bas was without offense. И всъщност неговото повтаряне на свято име е било Nama Basa. Той не се обръщал към Бога, той се обръщал към сина си, но без оскърбление. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Anything else? Yes, please. Was uh, when Dacha, uh, Dacha, after his two offenses, did he eventually get elevated? След като Дакша е извършил тези две оскърбления нали, към Шива и Нарада Муни, след това той бил ли издигнат отново? Mm, it is not described. Не се описва. Because... Uh, Because he, he, he was offensive towards Narada Muni. <coughs> Narada Muni personally came to visit him. Uh, even after he convinced his 11,000 sons <laughs> to take some ass. Uh, he, he came there because he uh, hoped that uh, Taksha will, will uh, realize that he cannot be offensive toward uh, such a great personality. But He cursed Narada Muni. Всъщност yeah. uh, Нарада Муни отишъл да посети Дакша след като е освободил един и сте му хиляди сина. И той се нали, надявал, че Дакша ще бъде респектиран от това, че той е велика личност и ще се държи по подобаващ начин. Но, въпреки това, Дакша просто го проклял. He's just a show bottle uh, and, <laughs> and he doesn't know what is beneficial For, for, for people and he instructs them and therefore uh, he 
cannot stay anywhere uh, permanently. Čiže to je uh, prostu jedin uh, pretendior i šarlatani i či to je všetnost ne zna koje je dobro za horote i za to go prokljal to da može da ostane dolgo postojano na jednom mjestu. And so uh, this, uh, his consciousness was revealed with, by this. Uh, so he considered happy life to have home and family and so on. So he didn't consider devotion to the Lord to be something great. <laughs> he considered a uh, happy family life to be something uh, most auspicious. But somebody may say, well, he was perfecting his service because the Lord gave him service to populate the universe. No, niyakoi može da kaže, dobre da otva mu je bilo nego to služena, to je trebalo da da naseli vselenata. Yes, but he should take this like here Prabhupada says, Tatinu Kampanus is a Dikshan. Da, 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 Yeah, and Krishna also explains in in second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, karma nieva bhikarasti ma palishu katachana. So your mm, your duty is to perform your work, your right is to perform your work, but you're not entitled to receive the. Anything from this. Chiti imash pravo. Imash pravo da ispolnjavaš dogusi, no nijamaš pravo da... Da enjoy results. Da, da se naslužaš na rezultatite. V tvoj slučaj da ta se ne sapam. In... In... Yeah. In this case, wonderful good thing. In this case, the result was his children. Yes. He didn't have the right to decide what will happen with his children. Yes. So... And then later on he was uh, resourceful and he uh, had a hundred daughters. <laughs> so Narada Muni didn't mess with his daughters. <laughs> so he, he could perform his duty. Um, by Lord's given intelligence. I teka to je posvešno se spomnio svoje to izloženje. It seems to be a classic even amongst the devotees. They're both serving, sometimes it clashes. Ako njakoj pa te izgledaš da će ima dori malo konflikt među prajeno udane i se s različim antrite, što te sički te služat i vopreki tva ima konflikt. Yes. But it looks like Bakshi eventually found a way. Yes, Please but he n- nevertheless cursed uh, <laughs> Narada <laughs> Muni. <laughs> but Narada <laughs> Muni liked <laughs> the curse, though, didn't he? But yes, he take it uh, in the right mood. Yes. He took it in the right mood. But on his own side, Narada Muni, he took it in the right mood. Yes. Because he took it in this way, the Tenu compounds the Samikshan. Yes. So he accepted whatever Lord sent him. And he was grateful. But Daksha, we can see, he, he wasn't grateful. He was wrathful. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you brought up this uh, from Bhakti Vinod Thakur, you have material desire. Yes. Um, on, oh, even with yourself, you're saying um, the scar remains. 
Yes. And then when has one has pray only when one has personal darshan of the Lord, then the this guy is removed. Relief. He had after offering those prayers, the Hamsabriya prayers. He got personal darshan of the Lord. Kaza, uh, Sorry. Ako правилно съм разбрал, тук а, а, беше цитирано, че човек напълно се освобождава от всички видове оскърбления, чак когато има лишния даршан на Бога. Ако аз правилно си спомням, дакше той е имал лишния даршан на Бога. In fact, many people, different people have personal даршан на Бога. Много хора имат лишния даршан на Бога. But, uh, let's greet him. You can just finish. Uh, but but nevertheless their eyes are uh, covered you can see that but nevertheless their eyes are covered like like demons also have darshan of the Lord but Shrimad Bhagavatam Grantaraj, Shrimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur Pramananda Kari.